That was okay. So Elaine Swan from Elaine Swan Enterprises. Yes. Thank you so much for being here and Glad showing to be us here how this to do morning. This. Yes, you know, and the thing that's funny, you said it's time to bring out the fine china. Yes. And my thing is, use it all year long. Yay. When friends come over and you want to give them a piece of cake mm -hmm. or something like that, get out your fun, your fine stuff, and have fun with it throughout the year. Good. Okay. So a little lesson. I'm going to go over okay. this with Reka here. So, I need so to keep learn. in mind, the way you remember is to start off with your plate in the center. So that way, okay. it kind of gives you a way to work left and right. So go ahead and place your plate in the center. Okay. All right, now go ahead and take your napkin and place it to the left of your plate. Okay, nice and folded. And then, yes, nice and folded. And then you can go ahead and work, we'll work on the left side first. So go ahead and get your salad fork, which, which interestingly enough, it doesn't matter the size or the kinds. It's really where you place it. So take one fork and put it on the outside. Okay. And we can use the smaller one for that one. Oh, perfect. And Thanks. then we'll go ahead and take the dinner fork and place <laughs> it on the inside. And then people always ask, how do you eat from the outside end? So we'll do it that way. Okay. Now let's work on the right hand side, okay? Right hand side, take your knife, place it right next to your plate, and turn the tines, the oh. sharp part in. Okay, I see. And then your soup spoon goes on the outside of the knife, <laughs> and then your dessert spoon right up on right top. On the top. And oh, then oh, here's nice. the thing, you can have a lot of fun and place a really special favor on everyone's plate for the holiday season. Mm -hmm. And oh, I have got these great cool. and imported chocolates. This is from Sobel Favors right here in San Diego. Gorgeous. Imported chocolates and they're decorated. So that way you just Gorgeous. make your place setting really nice. And the thing that's great is you can get them done in any theme, any color, whatever to match your so forth. So go ahead and take your champagne glass and we're gonna place it just right above your knife at the right and then also your goblet. Now here's something really fun to do. So we all have these, you know, you, these scissors, you can find them at any craft store. Just take a piece of card, a cardstock, cut it out and look at this. We're gonna just cut one side here, cut it all the way around. You can fold it in half. Mm -hmm. And then write your guest name right on the front and set it in front. And there you have a perfect okay, place nice. setting for the holidays. And you didn't have to do a whole lot. There you go. Okay. okay. So Very now nice. we've got some questions on etiquette, though. What we yes. should do, what we should not do. <laughs> well, you know, my question is, what if I have gum and I'm at the table? Do I put it under the under oh. the table or do I stick it like behind Rick? What, what do I do? You, do you, not, you, you try to get rid of it in advance and just take okay, a little piece right. of paper. And the hey, cell phone is, is a on? big no-no at oh, the table. Daisy. <laughs> Hello? So, and then she answers it. So <laughs> <laughs> Busted. Yeah, here okay. we go. So two things. The cell phone does not go on top of the table. That's, leave that for business meetings. But <laughs> the cell phone goes either inside your purse or leave it in the car or what have you. Okay, so not on top of the tables. But Kimberly Kim. knows that. Oh, she had okay. to <laughs> Good morning. I have a question because this is what a lot of ladies do. Sometimes you're at the table and it's a nice gathering with everybody and you don't want to get up and excuse yourself, but you also kind of want to reapply your lipstick. Is that ever appropriate to reapply your lipstick at the table okay very very brief you can reapply lip gloss and okay. put it right back in your purse now and it should just some, be something very very brief mm -hmm. not going on and with the <laughs> eyelashes <laughs> and the lotion <laughs> and the sprain so that's a no-no okay and think talking about doing things at the table if you have to sneeze or if you have to cough mm -hmm. you just turn your head and cough or what have you so I shouldn't it. use her sweater yeah, it's nice. exactly. <laughs> but still. if it's gonna be prolonged like that's you really thing, have yeah. to blow your nose or yeah. something like yeah. that then you just excuse yourself and when you excuse yourself you do not not need to tell people what you're going to do when you get in the bathroom. <laughs> so you don't need to say I'm going to go, you know, pick my you. wedgie out or whatever. You just talk. <laughs> oh you just say excuse me and you head on off to the ladies' room. That's it. No TMI. Elaine, thank you so oh much. Oh this is so helpful and so great. So Beautiful. remember these tips, all of us. Yeah, Come we will. Thank you, Phil. Yeah. You <laughs> Thanks. Phil, you especially. Okay. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>